Hey what's going on guys, Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at changing scenes and keeping the same object in the scene, um, uh, in the, on the screen. So what I've got set up here is scene 1 which has our player uh, which has just got a camera attached to it, we've got a directional light and a floor and then uh, scene 2 being the lobby we've got a the same floor, a, a similar directional light and then just three spheres just to point out. Um, that the scene has changed. We don't have the player in this scene. So if we started the game on scene 1 and at the moment I've got it set to when I press P. So if I press P now um, it brings our player and their uh, the, the camera through to the, to the second scene there. And also uh, I, I did this as a little test as well just to show the uh, that the variables stay the same as well so our number is set to 8 and I'll explain that in a second. So our player's just got one script attached to it which is this one. Very simple script that I just made just, just for this purpose only. So we've got number which starts off as 3 and then in update when we press P our number changes, changes to 8 and then we've got this one little bit here which is don't destroy on load and then the game object that is attached to this, the, 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 the script is attached to, and then we load the level of lobby. And uh, if if you haven't, if you don't, if you didn't watch one of my videos uh, previously, you have to add the scenes in here. You can either drag them and drop them over to here, or uh, if it's your current scene, you can add the current scene like that. So back into Unity. Um, so I've literally just got that set up like that, and. Uh, if you see here it's, it starts off at number 3 and even while we're playing it's still number 3 and then when I press P it changes to 8 and then uh, sets that up. So that's a very simple way to do that. Um, if you like this video then just like it and uh, if you have any questions um, then leave one below. Uh, the next few tutorials we're going to be covering um, networking and also inventory but I'm going to cover basic networking before I do the inventory. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.